is brought to you by Kubota. Head into your local Kubota dealership to test drive one today. Find your local Kubota dealer at gokubota.com. Georgia and UMass meeting for the first time. The Bulldogs in red jerseys, silver britches, and red hats. UMass, the Minutemen from Amherst, Massachusetts, all in white, white helmets, white jerseys, and white pants. Do we need an ID here? Did you tell me that? Let's do that. Let's pause for station identification here before we get underway. Station ID here on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Georgia will kick off UMass averaging 33 points a game. But here's the uh, downside of that for UMass, Z. They give up 41 points a game. Yeah, indeed they do, and they, they give up an awful lot of yardage points on the ground as well. Coming into this game, giving up 261 yards per game on the ground. Opposing offenses have found Pater 32 times running the football against the Minutemen. And if you're the dogs, you got to be licking your chops as we have regained our identity here the past couple of games, really after the LSU loss, where we made a decision we were going to own the ground on both sides of the football. And boy, have we ever, have we run the gauntlet, or at least the last part of the gauntlet, of top 25 opponents, cleared the table with them, and now we've set the path here to Atlanta, obviously, but still going to take care of business a couple more times before we get there. Georgia set to kick it off with Rodrigo Blankenship as we watch it from the Piedmont Healthcare radio booth here in the Munson Broadcast Suite in Sanford Stadium. Blankenship, the king of touchbacks. Marquise Young, the deepest receiver. He's their senior running back set to receive the kick. And Blankenship pooches it high and short. Going to come down returnable at the 5 to Young to the 10 to the 15 near sideline. Wrapped up around the 17. Stepping over bodies but down at the 18 and a half yard line as UMass will start inside their own 20. Keon Richardson on the tackle. The senior linebacker from Wachula, Florida. And better from Peach State Health Plan sponsors Georgia football. Better is taking charge of my health. For more information visit betterisga.com Scott, you can't introduce them like that anymore. <laughs> well, maybe you did was, it on purpose. That was your fault. I, I don't know that. Hey, look, they didn't start at the 25. Listen, I don't know, but you can't. There's no more of that. <laughs> Not until after the season. Jeez. Oh, All right. You're going to have to give me a list of your rules. Uh, there's a lot of them. Because I don't know them. UMass is on the 18. I know that. That's better than the 25. Comis with a play fake and a bootleg. He throws on the run. We had three guys in the backfield immediately. He throws it incomplete. Trying to go to Andy Isabella, who's their all-world receiver. Ledbetter was one of the three guys in there that forced Comis and Eric Stokes as well. Comis, when he curled around on the bootleg, he met three red shirts right in front of him. Yeah. Tyler Clark was one of them, too. Boy, that's a bad sight if you're a quarterback. There's the throw. Pass batted down left side by Tyler Clark. They snapped it to Comis back in the shotgun. Clark came in from the left edge, jumped in the air, and whacked it away with one of his arms. It's incomplete. Suddenly, it's third down and 10 very quickly for UMass on their own 18-yard line. Yeah, a bad sign there for the Minutemen as the dogs up front just running through this UMass offensive line like it's not even there. Comas is going to have to get the football out of his hands quick. Empty set again. Comas shotgun snap, and he'll take it and run it straight up the gut, and he'll get four yards to the 22. Ledbetter and Adam Anderson on the stop for Georgia. Anderson, the freshman linebacker from Rome. Ledbetter, the senior defensive end from Tucker, Georgia. The gain was four, and it's punt time for UMass just like that. And Adam Anderson really starting to come into his own a little bit deep into this season, past couple of games. You're starting to see him on the field quite a bit more. And, we, and when he's on the field, absolutely making the most of every opportunity and getting to the ball quite a bit. Travis Reynolds is on to punt, a senior from Australia for UMass. Going to try to kick it away low from Mikol Hardman, the best return man in the Southeastern Conference. A rugby-style kick that bounces and rolls, is still rolling, and it's finally blown dead at the Georgia 32-yard line, a 44-yard punt. And the last 15 or 20 yards, it seems, was 
bouncing and rolling on the ground. So Georgia will have still decent field position at the 34-yard line as they go on offense for the first time. Georgia Power brings the energy for every game day into your community, too. Visit georgiapower.com backslash sports to learn more. Jake Fromm is the quarterback for the Bulldogs on offense. Elijah Holyfield starts in the backfield. He'll get the first carry. There's a big gaping hole at left guard and left tackle, and Holyfield runs through it, churns across the 40 to the 41-yard line. A gain of seven quickly. UMass starting out here in quarters covers, trying to get their safeties up a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage to get two additional guys there against this rushing attack from the Dogs. Middle linebacker Brighton Barr made that first tackle. Here's Holyfield again. Same spot, same kind of hole. He angles out of bounds, just crossing midfield to the UMass 49-yard line. That's 10 yards and a first down brought to you by Scana Energy. Dogs two plays, and they've moved into UMass territory. Yeah, nothing fancy there from the Dogs. Just a couple of inside read option looks that the Dogs have run, but the, the Dogs should dominate this football game on both lines of scrimmage. Swift is in in the backfield. They'll fake it to him, hand it to Simmons on the end around. Tyler with running room. Tyler, 35-30, 25-20, far side of the field, 10-5. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tyler Simmons. His third career score, his second this season. For a big block downfield there by Isaac Nada on the reverse. Simmons able to break it down very easily. That big offensive line sealed the edge. But the downfield blocking, which has been so good here in this recent run by the Dogs, continuing to be very good there as Isaac Nauta doing exactly what he needs to do and paving the way for Simmons. 49 yards on the run to the house for Tyler Simmons in the touchdown. UMass has a player shaken up uh, at the end of that run. Isaiah Rogers, a quarterback, down around the 7- or 8-yard line. He's being assisted to the uh, sideline. He was already on that side of the field by UMass trainers. Georgia on the board quickly, less than two minutes into the ball game, six to nothing. That touchdown brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Now here's Rodrigo Blankenship for the point after try. There's the snap of the hold. The kick is good, and Blankenship converts on his 133rd consecutive extra point. Z, he's never missed. He's never missed. You can say it afterward. <laughs> That's okay. You did just not before. Seven to nothing. Dogs lead UMass. Thirteen oh one to go. First quarter. Time. It took Georgia 57 seconds to go 66 yards in three plays. A 49-yard touchdown run by Tyler Simmons. That's the Georgia Medals drive summary from a doghouse to a dog's house. Georgia Medals has got you covered. Back here in the Piedmont Healthcare radio booth at Sanford Stadium. Georgia getting set to kick it off with Rodrigo Blankenship. Today's first half broadcast presented by Ann Better from Peach State Health Plan. Better is taking charge of my health. Blankenship kicking it to our left. He booms this one to the far side of the field, hanging it up high and out of bounds, unfortunately. Uh, that might be his first out-of-bounds kick of the year. That's going to be a, a penalty on that play, and UMass should get the ball at the 35-yard line. Let's go down to Chuck Dattle on the Cook's Pest Control sideline for a report. Chuck. Well, Scott, you said uh, 57 seconds for that first Georgia drive. We said minute men and take Georgia about a minute, start to put them away, and they did it with a three and out, and then three plays for the score. And by the way, they just introduced Nick Chubb on the field. Gigantic standing ovation from the crowd. They showed highlights. The biggest cheer, his 92-yard run for a touchdown against the Falcons. <laughs> well, that's because it's most recent probably. Sony Michelle is here today too. He's going to be introduced uh, I think during the next uh, timeout here in Sanford Stadium. First and 10 on the 35 for the Minutemen. Russ, Ross Comis, excuse me. Pump fake. He pulls it down and we're going to sack him back at the 30-yard line. He rolled to the right a little bit. Pump fake. Looked downfield. Rolled back to the left and got hammered by DeAndre Walker first and Jordan Davis second. They finish him off a five-yard loss and a sack back at the 30. Dogs were single safety man-to-man. Comis wanted to go outside. Eric Stokes was in coverage. Comis will go out to the left to Isabella, his first catch of the afternoon. Isabella up the uh, far sideline to the 36-yard line, so he gains six, and it's one yard past the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and nine. 
Yeah, and the dogs right now, you could just visibly bigger and stronger than this UMass offensive line just having their way with it right now. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of variations of looks that we give, knowing that we can dominate this football game just with our down linemen. Third and nine from the 36, and Comus hits his man Young out of the backfield in the left flat. And he had to pull it down and fake it because we had so many defenders in his uh, passing line, (laughs) in the passing lane. But they complete the pass. Young gets two yards uh, to the 38-yard line, hit by Richard LeCount, the safety, and stopped there after a two-yard pickup. Again, it's fourth down. The Minutemen go three and out, and they'll send on Travis Reynolds once more to punt it away. And Mecole Hardman is the deep man for Georgia back on the 28. And Dogs giving a couple of different looks there. Showed linebacker Dog actually got out of that. Brought corner fire on the last play. Here's the kick. A low knuckle ball. Going to be caught by Mecole on the 30. They twist him down at the 32. That's got to be a hard catch on that floating ball. 32-yard punt, 2-yard return. Today's first half broadcast presented by Ambetter from Peach State Health Plan. Better is taking charge of my health. So the dynamic duo has been introduced here at Sanford Stadium. Nick Chubb and just uh, seconds ago, Sony Michelle, both doing very well in their rookie seasons in the National Football League. Georgia first and 10, leading 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. Dogs with the ball at their own 32-yard line. First and 10. This is Swift in the backfield. From is the quarterback. He'll drop back in the shotgun. Two receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Here's the first carry for DeAndre Swift. The pile moves at right tackle across the 35 to the 36. A gain of four for Swift, a sophomore from Philadelphia. And it'll be second down and six for the Dogs. Yeah, just off tackle there right over Trey Hill and Isaiah Wilson. Got a huge hole opened up, but just the pile and the the line of scrimmage being moved backwards by a couple of big bodies there. 330 and 340 on the right side of the line of scrimmage for the Dogs. Second down and six. Handoff swift. Oh, he gives the man a move. (laughs) He's got to bat that thing. And he dances up to the 45-yard line. One guy grabbing it air. Welcome to the SEC. Uh, Up to the 45. He faked out Brighton Barr, who's a very good tackler. 138 tackles so far this season, which is among the best in FBS. But uh, Swift up to the 45-yard line and a gain of nine and a scan of energy first down. Yeah, it's first and ten. Sprained an MCL. They're trying <laughs> to make that tackle. McAllister made the stop after Barr missed it badly. Throw out the left flat oh, to man. Harry it's Godwin it's in front of the Georgia sideline. Godwin makes the catch and fights his way for yardage up to where are they going to spot the ball into Minutemen territory at the 48-yard line. He got more than I thought. He got seven yards. Second down and three. The dogs on the UMass 47 or 48 make it. Just a a quick bubble screen on the outside. UMass, this series here, going a little bit more single safety. Dogs saw it on the outside. An easy pitch and catch. And a pickup of six yards. Four receivers set, two to each side. Play fake from a bullet. He throws to Godwin from the other side this time on a quick slant from the right. Godwin makes the catch. The tackle made at the 39 right where he caught the football. But he picks up nine and another scan of energy first down. The dogs moving the stick steadily here on their second possession of the ball game, leading it seven to nothing. Little play action just to hold the UMass linebacker, throw the slant in right behind it. Perfect execution. Tyler Hayes, the free safety, a senior from Texas, made the stop for UMass. First and 10 on the Minutemen 39 yard line. Snap to Fromm. He looks to the near side, throws. It's caught. Tyler Simmons at the 35, curls towards the sideline and down the sideline for more yardage. Close to the first down marker at the 29. He may have it. Isaiah Rogers. Wrestling him out of bounds on the near side. And they'll spot the ball at the 29. That is another scan of energy first down. A gain of 10 yards for Simmons. UMass brought pressure there. I believe it was Barr, the linebacker, uh, with a linebacker dog. But you have the quick game, on, quick game on. So no need for a side adjustment. Just a quick hitch on the outside. It's up to the quarterback there to get the football out of his hands. Two tight end set. Everybody in tight. Hand off Swift. Big hole at left guard. Swift into the secondary. Tackled at the 23-yard line. Uh, Ogbana and McAllister, the linebacker and the safety on the stop for UMass. The gain down just inside the 24-yard line. Call it five and a half yards or so. It'll be second down and about five for the Dogs. 
Well, McAllister came up from his safety position. Swift tried to hurdle him, but it would have been all five foot eleven of McAllister that he would have had to jump there. <laughs> he could do it. Here's Swift again, runs it right tackle and right guard, and he hesitates. He waits for some more blocking to materialize, and it does, and they push the pile down around the 18-yard line. Uh, Chinadu Ogbana, the linebacker, made the stop. He's from Marietta and Wheeler High School for UMass, but the gain is a first down run down inside the 18, and the dogs enter the Massey-Ferguson red zone. Experience the compact utility tractors that will take you through the season strong. Nothing real fancy from the dogs so far. You're, you're not seeing a ton of motion. We did have the one reverse that went to the house, but dogs keeping it very vanilla right now on what they're doing offensively. So, some some very straightforward runs, a little bit of quick game mixed in. Holyfield in. Elijah gets the carry. They'll jam it up at the line of scrimmage off right of center. Right around the 20, may have lost a yard on the play. Hit first by Brighton Barr, the graduate linebacker for UMass. He's a transfer from Towson. This guy, this is his seventh year in college, believe it or not. It's the same plan Hondo was on. <laughs> he started in 2012, but he fought through injuries for two seasons and got that waiver from the NCAA. He's been playing a long time when he's healthy. Holyfield with the ball. Stiff arm in the backfield at the 20. Breaks that tackle. 15, 10, near sideline, and out of bounds at the six. Official still walking. He's going to put the ball down at the five. Pushed out of bounds by Tyshawn Ingram. As No, that was the stiff arm. He stiff armed Ingram back at the line of scrimmage, then pushed out of bounds by Hayes. But it's goal to go for the dogs as Holyfield ran it down 13 yards down to the five-yard line. Well, you got on full display there all the talent from Elijah Holyfield. The strength and the stiff arm able to break a tackle, and then the speed and the burst as he got outside after that stiff arm and shot through a hole for a nice pickup. First and goal to minute mid five. Holyfield bounces out left. He's going to waltz into the end zone. He shredded a tackle at the six and untouched a light jog into the left front corner of the end zone for the touchdown, and Georgia's leading it 13 to nothing. Well, good news there for the dogs in the green zone now. Scott, did you get that message that we're no longer calling it the red zone? <laughs> I did not know that. It's, uh, it's the green zone now. That's the first step in fixing our problems down here. It is no longer the red zone. It is the green zone. All right. Well, Mario Patton, the nose tackle for UMass, is injured in the green zone. So there's an injury timeout right now. The touchdown by Holyfield, sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Georgia with its second score of the ballgame. That was a, an impressive, methodical drive. Uh, that is 10 plays and 68 yards. It took almost five minutes for him to get into the end zone on that time of possession. No hurry at all for the dogs. And the capper was the five-yard run by Elijah Holyfield. That's your Georgia Medals drive summary. From a doghouse to a dog's house, Georgia Medals has got you covered. Patton is uh, injured on the play, and they're trying to doctor him up at the five-yard line. Mario Patton, a junior from Cleveland Heights, Ohio, the nose tackle being tended to. You better buckle up because Sirius XM is zero to everything in 150 channels. You get commercial-free music plus entertainment, comedy, news, and, of course, coverage of every major sport, including the Georgia Bulldogs. So tune in and let's ride with Sirius XM. Patton being escorted off the field to the far sideline where UMass is housed for the day. And Georgia awaiting the extra point try of Rodrigo Blankenship. Kicking it into the west end zone here in the first quarter. Rodrigo's kick is up and away into the net. Good. Number 134 consecutively in his career. Dogs lead it 14 to nothing over UMass. 6.24 to go. Quarter number one. Back to Athens. Back here in the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth in the Munson Broadcast Suite. Bulldog football brought to you in the first half by Am Better from Peach State Health Plan. Better is taking charge of my health. For more information, visit betterisga.com. Dogs 14 to nothing leading UMass. As Blankenship sets to kick it off to Young and Sadiq Palmer are the deep receivers. 
This one going to come down to the five to Young. He called for the fair catch. That's the wise move, and the Minutemen will get the ball on the 25-yard line. And uh, we said in the uh, pregame that Monty Rice was one of our captains along with Terry Godwin, DeAndre Swift. Well, Monty wasn't out on the field, and now we know why. He's on the sidelines on crutches. He just came out of the locker room, I believe. He's in warm-ups and on crutches. That's not good. No, that's never never a good sign, especially going into the next couple of games that, that we've got here on the docket. we got to... Got to be at full strength. That's a hard one to miss. UMass on the 25. They hand it off to uh, Marquise Young. He starts to the right side, then tries to reverse his field left, but Jawan Taylor hit him first, and Jonathan Ledbetter prevented that happening uh, from happening uh, on his cutback, and he stopped after a one-yard gain at the 26. Well, there's red shirts all over defensively for Georgia. The dogs are... Not giving UMass anything here in the first quarter. Now, a couple of different looks from the dogs. Primarily single safety, however. Comis, stretch handoff to Young at left tackle. There's a flag down behind the play at the 26. Young up to the 34-yard line where he is tackled. But uh, that one may be coming back on UMass. Our referee today is Matt Austin. And here's the announcement. Illegal motion, offense number 18. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Taylor Edwards, one of the tight ends, penalized for the illegal motion, and that'll back the Minutemen up to the 21-yard line. And it'll be second down and long from there. 14 to nothing, Georgia leading here in the first quarter. Yes, UMass just losing at the line of scrimmage right now, not able to get anything going here in their first couple of series only eight total yards in their first two drives they go with the uh, wildcat formation the direct snap going to michael curtis actually he's the backup quarterback but it's a quarterback run all the way juan taylor snuffs it out at the 23 and a half 24 yard line not quite a full three yard gain from michael curtis a 6-2 junior from richardson texas who sneaked into the ball game Boy, really a nice tackle there by Juwan Taylor, able to square up the UMass quarterback and just drive him backwards on contact. Curtis will stay in. He'll throw a little flare pass to the left side, and it is caught by Young, I believe, is the recipient. And it is Marquise Young. He angles back towards the right on the hash, and we tackle him around the 33-yard line. Adam Anderson, the freshman linebacker from Rome, with another stop. And it's going to be fourth and a couple for UMass. And the Minutemen down 14 to nothing on fourth and two from their own 33-and-a-half-yard line. will decide to punt, apparently. Uh, just a quick uh, scr- uh, a swing pass out to Young there and tried to almost set up a, a little screen out of it, have him cut back against the line of scrimmage where those offensive linemen were out in front of them, but just no dice. The Georgia defense swarming. Here's the punt by Reynolds to Godwin, and he misplayed the ball, or did he not touch it? It's downed by UMass as they caught it on the bounce. Did Godwin touch the football? He did. It's going to be a turnover as Terry muffed the punt. It went through his fingertips, bounced off the turf, and right to a UMass player, a 51-yard punt, and the dogs have turned it over. At their own uh, 19-yard line, they'll spot it down at the 16-yard line. Now UMass with a scoring opportunity here as the defense has to go back out onto the field. Well, Scott, you just called it. These punts are kind of knuckling down the field, and it's it's hard to, to really judge it. That one obviously misjudged by Godwin. He undoubtedly touched the football. That was, that was clear, and it hops right up into the bad guy's hands there. A rare... Muffed punt by Terry Godwin. That's usually why he's in the ball game for safety purposes. But that ball knuckled away and it just touched his fingertips. And here's UMass at our 16-yard line. They toss it to Young. He's running with a full head of steam, angling to the right, down to the 10, maybe the 9-yard line. 
As we had a lot of red shirts around the ball, J.R. Reed making the tackle, but Young with six yards on that first carry in the red zone, and it'll be second down and four for the Minutemen from the Georgia 10-yard line. Boy, that's the first time that the Minutemen have had any kind of push on the offensive side of the ball. Just a little tall sweep there to get to the edge, and the Minutemen overloaded that side, but a good job in execution. Comus is back in at quarterback, and they hand it off to Young. He is driven back by Otis Reese, the safety, as uh, Young came through the line of scrimmage at right guard. Reese, number 17, plowed through him with the shoulder pads at the eight-yard line. That's where his forward progress is. His spine might be back at the 11-yard line, and now there's a flag. (laughs) Uh, dropped at the 10. Boy, that just doesn't get any prettier. Reese walked up from his safety position and actually sat right in between the Mike linebacker and the, the Sam linebacker. So he was in a linebacker position, able to shed a block. And, and from a form tackling perspective, you just don't get any better than what you just saw right there from Reese. I think that was a deep cleater as it looked like Young's feet came off the turf when Reese hit him and drove him back. Here's Matt Austin with the call on the penalty marker. Illegal formation on the offense, more than four in the backfield. It's five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Well, that was a delayed flag. <laughs> Young probably said, hey, drop that flag before they give me the ball after that hit by Reese. So Otis got a free shot there. It's going to be a five-yard penalty on, uh, on Massachusetts, and they'll walk it off. Back to the 15 or so. Let's go down to Chuck Dattle on the uh, Cook's Pest Control sidelines. Chuck. Well, Scott, you mentioned Monty Rice coming out on crutches. He was supposed to be out as a captain, uh, but he's got a boot on his foot. uh, And that uh, I'm told officially that that speaks for itself, that they will let us know in the post game. Okay. (laughs) All right. Here's a speed sweep to Isabella trying to juke a man out on the corner. That's DeAndre Baker who chases him out of bounds on the far sideline. They went from right to left on the speed sweep to Isabella. He's got some speed. He gets the ball inside the 10 down to the 7-yard line and pushed out of bounds on that side of the field by Georgia's DeAndre Baker. But the gain is 8 for Isabella. Makes it third manageable now. It's third and a yard for the Minutemen at the Georgia 7. Boy, you can see his speed right there. A nice little inside move that froze the defense for the dogs ever so slightly, but just that little hesitation combined with Isabella's sleeve, speed allowed him to get outside. Now he gets it on the sweep to the near side. Boom, he's hit at the five. I think he got the first down, but he paid for it. Natrez Patrick driving the shoulder right into the breadbasket of Isabella. He's feeling that one. I think he might want to come out of the ball game, and he does. He's going to head to the sideline after that lick. But they've got it goal to go at the five. Well, another speed sweep trying to get it to their best player and utilize his speed in some space. Problem is, against the dogs, you're going against full-grown men that will put a whooping on you. Ball's on the near hash. Quick snap. Comis handoff. Young. He'll walk into the end zone untouched at left tackle. Touchdown for UMass, and they're on the board with 1.59 to go in the first quarter. So the turnover is costly for Georgia. The muffed punt by Terry Godwin. And the Minutemen took over at the 16, and they eventually get it into the end zone on the five-yard run by Marquise Young, the senior running back from Fairport, New York. Yeah, just a little off tackle there. Good job sealing the hole by the Minutemen. Got a lineman up on the second level as well to seal off the oncoming pursuit of the Georgia linebackers for Young just to walk it in. Point after try for Cooper Garcia, Jr. from Ventura, California. Flags down and whistles blowing as Garcia kicked it through. Let's check the call from Matt Austin. Snap infraction, offense number 65. Five-yard penalty. We'll replay the try. So they'll back him up five yards. Snap infraction on Peter Comoroto. And, uh, boy, that Citadel game today with Alabama, they had a second-half fumble recovery with the game tied at 10. Alabama fumbled the second-half kickoff, and the Citadel was trying a field goal of 40 yards to go ahead 13-10. to 10. They made the kick, but there was a false start. They backed them up five yards, and they tried the 45-yarder and missed it. The extra point here is good. 
And after that, the score remained 10 to 10, and it was Katie bar the door. Alabama just blew them out after that one play. It was amazing how that momentum switched. Here it's 14 to 7. Afternoon, 35 yards, and DeAndre Swift with four carries and 24 yards. So really, everything that the dogs are wanting to do offensively, all of it looks good right now. Here's Garcia to kick it away from left to right. Hardman in the end zone. Left portion of the end zone. That's where this ball is headed. And Miko will run it out two yards deep to the five. Angles to the hash, to the 10, to the 15. Breaks over a tackle. They trip him up at the 15. The guy got just enough of Miko's leg as he stumbles forward to the 20. Tripped up by Dante Nardi at the 15-yard line. And after the contact, Miko got about five more before hitting the turf at the 20 on the near hash. So it'll be the dog's ball. First and 10 there with a 14-7 lead here very late in the first quarter. Southwest Airlines has low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. How about a destination end zone for the dogs? I'll take that. Justin Fields in the game at quarterback now for the first time for Georgia. And DeAndre Swift in the backfield. Two receivers stacked to the right and one to the left. Handoff. Swift looking for running room. Runs straight behind center. UMass piles up the hole in the line of scrimmage, and Swift gets about a yard to the 21. Nothing else there. The dogs couldn't clear any space with those big bodies up front. UMass defended it well. A one-yard gain for Swift. It's second and nine for Georgia. UMass there brought a linebacker blitz right into the A gap. So the, the read for just on that read option was accurate, but that blitz got UMass put in the perfect spot. Fields take the snap and the shotgun. He bobbled it, fakes the handoff, and rolls around the right end as he keeps it up to the 30-yard line, hit by Barr, the linebacker, but a nine-yard gain, going to be close to a first down. They spot it back on the 29, so call it an eight-yard gain instead, and it's third and one for Georgia. Yeah, good, good read there by Justin Fields, defensive end for U, UMass. Crashed on that one. Fields has got to pull it out. Probably was going to have to pull it out anyway because you mentioned that he bobbled the snap, but able to regain it. Still make a good read and make a positive play out of it. Power formation for Fields under center. Just going to keep it and plow ahead for an easy first down across the 30. And he got about two or three yards on that quarterback keeper. Up to the 32 and a half or so. Lamont Gilliard paving the way the center. For the dogs, and the ball's on the 33. That was <laughs> that was a pretty good run for a quarterback sneak. Boy, there's no doubt about it. He kind of stood up and picked his hole. He just didn't dive forward. Ran that one like a running back. First and 10 dogs, 14 to 7 our score. Final seconds of the quarter. Play fake fields. He's off running this way. 45-50, 45-40. Near sideline, 35-30. Fields hit from behind and tackled down after a long run near the UMass 20-yard line. Chased down by Lee Moses, senior cornerback on the Georgia sideline. Longest run of the year for Justin Fields. Boy, and I thought that one was going to the house again. Perfect read on the read option. UMass crashes. He pulls it. Then he was off to the races. Stumbled a little bit by the turf monster. It kind of got his feet a little bit. Or else he may have been off to the races. 47 yards on that run by Justin Fields as the dogs hit the Massey-Ferguson red zone and the end of the first quarter. First half broadcast brought to you by Peach to put the Minutemen on the board. That's where we stand right now. But Georgia on another long drive after a nifty run by quarterback Justin Fields. 47-yard run to take it down to the UMass 20. We start the second quarter with the Dogs in the red zone. First and 10 at the Minutemen 20. Now they're driving towards the east end zone here at Sanford Stadium, leading it 14-7. to Fields stays in. Swift in the backfield as well. Play fake to DeAndre. Swift will throw. Short little lob pass to Mecole Hardman. And the play will be stretched out into the near sideline. Flag after the play. Well out of bounds. And Hardman couldn't find any running space there. He stiff-armed, uh, tried to stiff-arm one of the guys. Lee Moses pushes play. him out of bounds. Foul. Unnecessary roughness. 44 of the defense. Penalties half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. And that uh, unnecessary roughness penalty on Brighton Barr, their middle linebacker. And that's going to cost them. Ball down just inside the 10. It'll be goal to go there. First and goal for the Dogs. Boy, and Barr just ruined a really nice defensive play there by 
UMass, good covers downfield, forcing Justin Fields to hit Miko just on the flat. That was the outlet on that pass play. Miko got over, got over to the sideline, was a couple of steps out of bounds when Barr came over and gave him one last little shove. Fields goes under center on first and goal at the nine, handoff to Swift. And Swift is stopped behind the line by Joe Previty, redshirt senior defensive tackle from Brockton, Massachusetts. He shot through the gap and got in the backfield and hit Swift for about a uh, two-yard loss, like close to the 11, almost the 12-yard line. Now, UMass just in cover zero right now. They're manned up across the board. A lot of guys in the box trying to shut down this Georgia rushing attack. Gilliard the center over the ball. Hardman goes in motion left. Play fake fields. He throws. He's hit as he throws, but he gets it in the end zone. Touchdown on a slant. Riley Ridley caught it. Standing up in the end zone for the touchdown. Boy, great composure there from Justin Fields. Had a guy bearing down on him. Hit him right in the chest. Fields had to stand up tall in the face of that pressure coming and deliver a strike. It's exactly what he did. Chinadu Ogbana was the linebacker that was all in Fields' face, but Justin held his ground, fired a bullet into the end zone, caught by Ridley for the score on that quick slant. That touchdown brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Here's the point after try. Rodrigo Blankenship. The streak continues. It's up and good. And it's 21-7. Georgia leading. Just a minute and five into the four, into the second quarter here in Athens. Timeout at Sanford Stadium. Back after the... Along with Eric Zier, Scott Howard with you here in the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth in the Munson Broadcast Suite here at Sanford Stadium. 21-7, Georgia leading UMass. The Dogs go 80 yards in seven plays. Justin Fields directing that scoring drive. An 11-yard touchdown pass from Fields to Riley Ridley. It was the scoring play. Ridley with his sixth touchdown reception and Fields with his third touchdown throw of the year. That's the Georgia Medals drive summary from a doghouse to a dog's house. Georgia Medals has got you covered. Rodrigo Blankenship kicking it to the right. Going to come down in the end zone. Marquise Young lets it uh, land over his head and bounce through the end zone for the touchback. And it'll be the Minutemen ball on the 25-yard line. First half broadcast brought to you by Ambetter from Peach State Health Plan. Better is taking charge of my health. For more information, visit betterisga.com. UMass with the ball on their own 25-yard line. They haven't generated any kind of an offensive uh, consistency, no drive to speak of. They took advantage of a Georgia mistake, a muffed punt that they recovered at the 16-yard line of the Dogs. Punched that in for a score, but we'll see how they do when they're faced with a longer field starting at their own 25. Yeah, only 41 yards of total offense right now for UMass. Shotgun snap and a play fake on the sweep. They throw it out in the left flat to Isabella, and he makes the catch and tries to find some running room on the left side, but not a lot of space there. I think he got three or so. Tay Crowder chasing, and Richard LeCount into the near sideline. The gain was uh, close to the 30, so he almost got five. So it's second down and five for the Minutemen. As the snap to Comis comes out of there on a quick fire down the middle to the tight end. Passes incomplete. Check a flag in the backfield. Trying to go to Kyle Horn on that throw down the seam. But let's check the penalty marker. Looks like it's going to go against UMass. Matt Austin talking to the... Georgia sideline. On the offense, more than four players in the backfield. Penalties declined. Fourth down. Or correction, third down. So the dogs will take the play and the incompletion. They'll put the ball back at the 29. And it'll be third down. Five and a half, almost six, I guess. Georgia Power brings the energy for every game day into your community, too. Visit georgiapower.com backslash sports to learn more. So third and six. For the Minutemen, three receivers out to the wide side of the field to the right. Ball's on the near hash. Guys in white going to the left. Comas drops back to throw. He's got a guy at the 45. The pass is caught by Isabella going down on his knees and tumbling to the turf at the 46-yard line. Baker's in coverage for the Dogs. 
but the gain is 17 and a first down for the Minutemen. Dogs went man-to-man, brought linebacker pressure, but not able to get to Comas. Comas, they're finding and hooking up with his top target, Isabella, who came into this game with 87 catches. Handoff to Jordan Fredericks, the number two running back into the ball game. His first carry of the contest. Angles to the right, trying to get around the corner to the 49-yard line. Tackle made by Natrez Patrick. The dog's senior linebacker from Atlanta. Ball's on the logo, just shy of midfield. Second down and about six to go for the Minutemen. They trail 21-7. We're in the second quarter with 12.43 to go. And the clock moving. That gain was three for Fredericks. Get another try. Flea flicker. Toss it back to Comas. Nothing downfield. Comas going to take it and run. Flag down behind the play. Comas scrambling out of bounds on the far sideline. Forced into the sideline by Devontae Wyatt. Might be a hold on the Minutemen. Wipe out a positive run for the quarterback. Yeah, that's going to be penalty number five on the Minutemen. And we declined one of them. So they've, the Yellow Hankies coming out quite a bit here in the We're early going. The Holding offense number 57. That penalty's declined. Holding offense number 72. That 10 yard penalty would be enforced from the previous spot. Repeat second down. <laughs> So two, two of their five linemen were holding on the play. The left tackle, Ray Thomas Ishman, and the center, Derek Dumais. And they'll back up the Minutemen back inside their 40 to the 39 and a half. And if you're UMass, you get a little something going here offensively. Not a lot. There's no fireworks going on for them. But having to play from behind the chains against this Georgia defense, an absolute challenge for the Minutemen. Comus, the quarterback, six feet, 195, fifth-year guy from Weirton, West Virginia. He's the number two quarterback. Andrew Ford was the starter, but he suffered an ACL injury last month and is out for the year. Comus slings it out to the right side. A little short pass into the right flat to Jordan Fredericks, the running back, and he's got nowhere to run. He gets about a yard or so just across the 40. Robert Beal, the linebacker, all over that play. And it's third and long for the Minutemen. Third and 16 from just across their own 40. Comas in the pocket, scrambling out, rolling to the right, throwing on the run. Pass is tipped by Webb, but it still heads in its intended direction, and it's caught by Zach Simon. No, that was incomplete. Excuse me. I thought he was. I thought he was able to catch that ball, but it's an incomplete pass, and it's fourth down now. And UMass will have to punt it. Dogs just brought four, got back into coverage. And a very nice play there by Georgia defensively. Yet, yeah, if you're UMass and you're having to play from behind the chain, it's going to be a long, long afternoon for them. Travis Reynolds on to punt for the Minutemen. Nicole Hardman back deep to receive the kick. They run to the left, kick it in that direction. Now the ball goes back towards the middle of the field. Fielded on the bounce by Hardman at the 18. Hardman to the 22, near side, 25. Angles out of bounds at the 26 or so. Untouched, he ran out of bounds into the friendly territory on the right side of the field. Dog's ball when we metal roofing, we offer metal shingles and shake, slate, and terracotta tile. We also offer pre engineered buildings, steel pole barn packages, and a full line of agricultural products. Go to GeorgiaMetals.com. Go dogs! Get a metal roof, roof, roof. Coach Kirby Smart here. Today's broadcast is live from the Piedmont Healthcare Radio Booth. 21 7, Georgia leading UMass. Let's pause for station identification. Bulldog Sports Network. First and 10, Georgia on our own 27-yard line. Jake Fromm back in at quarterback now. 11-18 to go second quarter. Georgia by two touchdowns, 21-7. Hand off to DeAndre Swift. Runs immediately on an angle at left tackle. And UMass gets some up-the-field penetration. Chinadu Ogbana, the linebacker on that side, makes the tackle at the 28-and-a-half. About a one-and-a-half-yard gain for DeAndre Swift. First half of our broadcast presented by Ambetter from Peach State Health Plan. Better is taking charge of my health. Brian Harrion in the backfield now for the first time. On second down and eight for the Dogs. Almost to our 29-yard line. 
Fromm in the shotgun, takes the snap, looks to throw, looking, left side throw. He's got a man, Tyler Simmons, caught on the sideline at the 50, at the 40, race to the end zone, 20, 10, they will catch him, touchdown, Tyler Simmons. He's in the end zone for the second time in the game. That was a check at the line of scrimmage there by Fromm, saw that they were going to get out of the initial look defensively they were in because of, of a, a blitz that they were showing. UMass ended up going into a cover two look. But Fromm hits Simmons just on a takeoff up the sideline in the soft pot spot of that zone. A poor angle by the UMass safety, which allowed Simmons to get behind the defense and then was off to the races. 71 yards on the pass to Tyler Simmons. Boy, he showed some terrific speed once he got the ball around midfield. He shot down the far sideline towards the east end zone for the score. Here's the point after try. Rodrigo Blankenship converts it again. It's 28-7, Georgia. That touchdown brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Boy, that was impressive. You say a check at the line by Fromm. It was a check, so he got up, he changed the play. They were UMass was showing a blitz where they had linebackers up in the line of scrimmage. They looked like they were going to go to a single safety. At the check, however, UMass got out of that blitz look, went cover two, still had a good play on for it with the takeoff down the sideline. And Fromm hit Simmons right in the soft spot of that zone between the cornerback. We were over the top of him and the safety before he could get over. In a really poor angle, the safety for UMass went straight down the line with no angle at all. Can't do that against a speedster like Simmons. He catches it, and there was nobody that was going to come close to catch him. Well, that drive only took 48 seconds. That's two touchdown drives for Georgia in under a minute. Our first scoring drive was 57 seconds, a 49-yard run by Tyler Simmons, and now a 71-yard reception for a touchdown by Tyler Simmons, a 48 play drive two plays 73 yards that's the georgia medals drive summary from a dog house to a dog's house georgia medals has got you covered 28 to 7 10 27 to go quarter number two as the lights are on here at sanford stadium the sun's starting to set and blankenship putting his foot into this one from left to right it'll land about six yards deep in the end zone and marquise young will let it become a touchback and the Minutemen will have the ball at their own 25-yard line. Impressive quick strike offense here in this first half by Georgia. Twice and both to the same guy. Simmons doubling his touchdown output today with two scores in the ballgame. And dog fans, whether your favorite seat is right on the 50-yard line or comes with a bird's-eye view, head to StubHub and grab 100% verified tickets so you know you'll get in. StubHub getting fans into the game for over 17 years, the official fan-to-fan ticket marketplace of the Georgia Bulldogs. StubHub, be there. UMass first and 10 at the 25. Comus on the handoff, end around with some speed to the far side, outrunning the defense across midfield. And into Georgia territory is Brennan Dingle, a redshirt sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland, as he sprints from left to right, got to the far sideline, and up the field he went from the 25 down to the Georgia 33-yard line. Yeah, and Dingle broke contain there, and you saw the speed running away from Dogs. A good tackle and a good angle by Reese to finally knock him out of bounds, but nobody on the Georgia sideline is going to like that. Not at all. 42-yard sprint for Dingle. First and 10 UMass at the Georgia 33-yard line. UMass. Timeout UMass. First time out of the half. Matt Austin, our referee, as the Minutemen stop the clock with 9.51 to go here in the second quarter. Timeout. It's a sweep around the right edge. They then called a timeout, so it's first and 10 minute men on the Georgia 33-yard line. With 9.51 to go in the second quarter, Georgia leading 28-7. to Comus, the quarterback, under center, takes the handoff, or takes the snap, rather, and hands off to Young, who bounces around the right edge. And inside the 30 to the 29-yard line, Richard LeCount sweeps him low, and Patrick gets some uh, wood on him. Natrez, a piece of that tackle at the 29-yard line. And the gain is about four. It'll be second down and six to go. UMass has gone to that formation a couple of times and had a little bit of success with it. Bunch formation, 
to, to one side of the line of scrimmage, but they run right into it. They run a play fake here and throw it to Fredericks, a transfer from Syracuse out of the backfield, down the right sideline, makes the catch, and then backpedaling, stumbling out of bounds. And we're at the 15-and-a-half-yard line, and that's going to be a 14-yard game. Patrick in coverage for the Dogs. But Fredericks, the junior running back from New York, kind of went out of bounds on his own. He didn't need a lot of help. He was losing his balance. But it's first and 10 for the Minutemen from the Georgia 15. Play fake Comus. Throws a screen out to the right to Isabella. He had blockers. LeCount makes the stop. Didn't need the blockers. LeCount got behind him and wraps up Isabella high around the headgear at the 13-yard line. A pickup of two, and it'll be second and eight for UMass on the Georgia 13-yard line. It's a fourth catch on the afternoon for Isabella. Came into this football game with 87, and you can see that UMass is trying to get him the football any which way they can, whether it be on jet sweeps or quick out routes, quick game, quick screen passes. Want the ball in his hands. Comus avoids the sack, throws it at the 10, passes incomplete. I believe that was one of the tight ends. Around the eight. No, it was uh, Samuel Emulus, a freshman receiver from Montreal. Had the ball in his hands at the nine, couldn't hang on to it. He dropped it. Georgia had good pressure on Comus. Was, uh, Tay Crowder was in coverage on that play. And Natrez Patrick was the one applying the pressure on Ross Comus. And now Georgia has a player shaken up, and that is Tyreek McGee. He's uh, sitting on the seat of his pants on the turf. Training staff out to tend to him quickly so play will be halted temporarily with 8 12 to go here in the second quarter and uh, that incomplete pass will send the ball back to the georgia 13 yard line where umass will have it third down and eight when we resume play if you know someone who makes an impact on their community team uga presented by georgia power is now accepting nominations for members who demonstrate an unselfish giving attitude submit your nominations at georgiadogs.com. Tyreek McGee, the player shaken up. He's got four guys all looking at, uh, looked like they were taking a look at his, something on his right leg. Yeah, I can't tell if they're looking at his shin or their, I don't think it's his knee, but maybe shin or ankle. Where he's taking a blow, but not moving around a whole lot. He's sitting upright on the turf, but keeping his legs as still as possible at the moment. Yeah, both teams have uh, headed to their sidelines, huddling up around their coaching staff. Georgia on the near sideline and UMass all in white on the far side, on the north side of the stadium here. 28-7 to is our score, Georgia leading. But UMass threatening, uh, UMass threatening here on uh, third and eight from the Georgia 13-yard line. Right now, you can come in and get exceptional offers on all BMWs in stock. Visit one of your Atlanta area BMW centers today for a test drive. Proud to be the official luxury vehicle of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for more offer details. And Tyreek McGee is up and walking under his own power to the near sideline, flanked by Georgia's uh, director of training, for the athletic department, Ron Corson. Looks to be okay, but yeah, he'll go into the medical tent anyway. I think it's actually, it might be his hand or his arm after looking a little bit closely. I thought they were looking at his leg initially, but it's like Tariq took his glove off and they were at the end there examining his fingers and his hand, maybe into his, his forearm. So we'll see. UMass on the 13 of Georgia, third down and eight. Comus, the quarterback, he's got a man out to the right, two to the left, motion man to the near side. Shotgun snap, Comus flushed, breaks away from a tackle, hit again, he won't get away, and next time, and we cover him up back at the 20. He stepped through one tackle, Rochester and Taylor came up field and squeezed that pocket, and then Adam Anderson got in there to get a piece of the sack. They finished him off back at the 20-yard line, but they're going to say forward progress Still a sack at the 17 and a half, a loss of about four on the play, and it's fourth down for the Minutemen. They're going to try to get points on a field goal by Garcia. Cooper Garcia, junior kicker, 5'8 and 220 from Ventura, California. 
As zone blitz looked there by the dogs, brought both inside linebackers, dropped out the defensive end into coverage. 34-yard try. Snap is a little high. They put it down. The kick is away into the net. Good. 34-yard kick. Adds three more points for UMass. That makes it 28-10. to 10. That's another All-State good hands field goal in this ballgame. 7-19 to go in the half. Georgia again, 28-10, to 10, leading the minute. That's loyalty. We're over, Dan. Anywho, uh, let's hang out again soon. Sorry, Dandruff. Carl said so long to embarrassing flakes and itch with the powerful relief of Selsun Blue Dandruff Shampoo. Uses directed. We're in the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth here in the Munson Suite inside Sanford Stadium. It's 28 to 10, Georgia leading UMass. 7:19 to go, second quarter. Minute men will kick it away with Cooper Garcia, who just booted a 34-yard field goal. Angles it to the left. This one won't reach the end zone. Caught on the six on the run by Hardman. Quickly up across the 20 through the 25-yard line, and then slowed down at the 28. And Hardman. Is that Miko slow to get up, or is that? We'll see who that is. Oh, Grant, Walter Grant, the linebacker, slow to get up. Going to hobble to the near sideline. Kirby Smart off with a pat on the helmet. And on the back for Walter Grant, Ron Corson, a busy man here in the last couple of minutes. We'll take a look at Walter. And better from Peach State Health Plan sponsors our first half. Better is taking charge of my health. For more information, visit betterisga.com. Dogs ball, first and 10 on the 28-yard line. Fields back in at quarterback. Handoff, Holyfield. Starts straight, bounces out right, prepares for contact, lowers the shoulders and drives through a tackler at the 39, up across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Bryce McAllister, the safety, a graduate from uh, East Longmeadow, Massachusetts, made the tackle on Elijah Holyfield up at the 43-yard line. Game UMass, of 15. UMass brought their strong safety up onto the line of scrimmage. We don't care. We run right into it anyway. And a, in good vision there by Holyfield to bounce that thing off side, or outside. Is at the point of attack there. A lot of white jerseys. Play fake. Fields throws it. Tight end wide open. Nauta down the middle of the field. Running, running inside the 10, down to the 5. Tackled from behind at about the 4, maybe the 3. Isaac Nauta almost took it to the house. Couldn't quite get there. And he's feeling it right now. Isaiah Rogers, the cornerback, caught him from behind. But it's goal to go for the dogs inside the UMass 5. Great ball there by Justin Fields. Just an inside skinny post by Isaac Nada. Got around the second level. From uh, not from Fields delivered it right on time. 54 yards. Fields play fake. Oh, spin move off the right edge into the end zone. Standing up. Touchdown, Justin Fields. He looked like Swift with that move. Boy, did he ever. Got outside on the read option. In space was one-on-one. A little nifty spin move. Took it to pay dirt. And the green zone problem's not so much right now. (laughs) That touchdown brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Another quick strike by the Dogs, their third of the game, as the Dogs, with their third touchdown drive of a minute or less, that one took exactly 60 seconds. Point after try, Blankenship, kick is away, kick is good. 35 to 10. We'll keep it right here after a Georgia touchdown drive of 72 yards in three plays. It took a minute. The capper was the three-yard run by the quarterback, Justin Fields, but the big play was the 50-plus yard pass reception to the tight end, Isaac Nauta. Z. he was left all alone right down the seam and had running room for years, but couldn't quite get to the end zone. No, he had a host of Minutemen in pursuit of him and you're right that when he caught that there nobody was there I think a blown coverage by UMass on that where they expected some safety top over the help it wasn't there field saw it delivered a strike and just not enough go juice in the tank for Nauta to find pay dirt but enough to get down to make another easy score there for the dogs as they widen the lead so it's 35 35- to 10. Did I do the drive summary already? Or no? 
Three plays, 72 yards, three yards, touchdown run by Justin Fields. That's the Georgia Medals drive summary. We'll do it again if we did it already. From a doghouse to a dog's house, Georgia Medals has got you covered. Rodrigo will kick it off again. He's going to have a weary leg, I have a feeling. Dogs, 35 points already. We're not even to half. Still six minutes to go. Blanket chips kick high, hanging end over end. Going to come down about two or three yards deep in the end zone. Young stands on the goal line and says, I'm not moving. He lets it become a touchback over his head. Let's go down to the sidelines. Cook's Pest Control Report with Chuck Dowdle. Chuck. Yeah, thanks a lot, Scott. I was going to tell you, Tyreek McGee. Oh, let me move away from that speaker. Uh, Ty, Tyreek McGee had a right hand injury, but his helmet was still on. I think he was going to be trying to get back into this game. Looked like he probably would. Uh, Walter Grant, he just had some leg cramps. I think he's good, too. All righty, sir. Thank you very much for the update. UMass ball on their own 25-yard line, first and 10. 35 to 10 is our score. Georgia leading by 25 points. Minutemen flip-flopping and... Their offensive line changing formations. Comus, play fake, rolls out to the right. Throws it into the right flat to Andy Isabella. He catches it behind the line and is pushed out of bounds at about the, well, 30-yard line. He got five. Richard LeCount pushing him out of bounds on the far side of the field after a five-yard gain. Just a bootleg there by Comus. Play action. Get outside the pocket. Change your launch point. Good coverage again downfield by the dogs. Nothing Comus could do except dump it to Isabella. Isabella, fifth catch, but only 34 yards in receiving today. Throws this one underneath the coverage. Middle of the field on a little crossing route to the senior Isabella from Mayfield, Ohio. Hit by DeAndre Baker at the 34-yard line. Nice open field tackle there by DeAndre Baker. Isabella had a little bit ahead of steam as he caught that pass. If he were able to get outside of Baker, easily would have picked up the first down, potentially more. UMass has a player slow to get up. That's the running back, Marquise Young, near their sideline and their bench right on the numbers. He's going to be helped up from the turf and go to the sideline. I don't know if he was just cramping up or what exactly happened. No one's even taking a look at him on the sideline right now, but into the ball game will be Jordan Fredericks, the number two running back, a junior, and a transfer from Syracuse. to go in the half. Third and a yard for UMass. They're two for seven. Two for seven on third down conversion tries here. From the 34, handoff to Fredericks. Around the right side and up the hash for the first down. He got about four yards, I think, close to the 38-yard line. Patrick and Campbell on the stop for the Georgia defense. UMass again went trips bunch and ran right at that bunch formation. Every time they've done it three or four times in this game, not huge breakout explosive plays, but solid plays nonetheless. UMass no huddle, play fake. Comus throws it right flat. It's caught around the 38-yard line, just right down the line of scrimmage to Sadiq Palmer, the junior receiver. And up the field for a handful of yards. Tackled by William Poole, sophomore secondary man from Atlanta. And the ball's at the just shy of our four of their 43-yard line. The gain was not quite four. Second down and six. A long six. Now they'll run it with Fredericks. He angles to the left at left tackle. Looks for running room there. Dog's defense closes in on him around the 45-yard line. And he's hit just crossing the 45. Barnett, Wyatt, and Patrick all on the stop for the Dogs' D as we shuffle players in and out. Cox, Brenton Cox is coming to the sideline now. Third down and a couple for the Minutemen. The ball's on their own 46-yard line. Stay tuned for the Amco Transmissions Halftime Report with Neil Williamson, presented by the Amco Transmission Centers of Metro Atlanta. That's coming up in less than four minutes. Shotgun snap and a split backfield. Comus play fake. Rolls to his right. Throws. He had a man breaking open, but the ball was already gone. And it skids on the turf between the hash marks. Incomplete. He had two guys in the same vicinity, see. But uh, he had one man running deep. Kyle Horn was the intended target. But the other guy was appeared to be uh, wide open down the seam. But too late. Yeah, I think he was going to 
his underneath receiver on that, but Otis Reese there to blow that one up. Really no chance. Comas had to put some zip on it, too. It was a lot of red jerseys converging on his receiver. Fourth down, they'll punt it. Pooch it to the left, running up to make the catch is Terry Godwin. And Godwin kind of bending the knees and catching it low around the waist at the 18 or 19-yard line. They'll put it down on the 19. 3.23 to go in the quarter. And that's a 37-yard punt for UMass. Dogs will have the ball. 19-yard line. And Justin Fields will be the quarterback on this possession again. He comes out into the huddle. 20, make it 35 to 10, Georgia leading. Scana Energy is a proud partner of the Bulldogs Sports Network. For every touchdown the dogs score, Scana Energy makes a $25, make it a $500 donation to the University of Georgia General Scholarship Fund. First and 10 for the dogs on the 19. Snap the fields, hand it to Swift. Looking for space on the left edge. He's got the corner, 25, 30, 35, and up close to the 40. They chase him out of bounds on the UMass sideline, just shy of the 40 at the 39-yard line. A run of 20 for Swift, tackled by Isaiah Rogers, the cornerback, or else Swift might have been gone to the house down that sideline. Boy, just too much speed. Swift got out. Squared Rodgers up, able to very quickly get outside of him and force Rodgers just to dive at his feet to make the tackle. But it is good to see that guy running at full speed as we have been the past couple of weeks. Field snapped in the shotgun, takes a quick handoff or takes a quick snap and a quick handoff to Swift who gets positive yards at left guard uh, across the 40 to the 43-yard line. A gain of four. Second down and six. Dogs going fast here late in the second quarter. Quick throw out in the left flat to Swift off his hands and incomplete. Now that's one that uh, Fields is going to want back. Didn't give his downfield receivers quite enough time for that play to develop. Got off of him a little bit too quickly to his check down. Swift that was covered up by a couple of different minute men. Yeah, he had two guys over there as Georgia's string of seven straight completions comes to an end by both quarterbacks. Fromm, four for four. Fields was three for three prior to that incompletion. He's going to throw again. Deep ball, right sideline. There's Miko over the shoulder catch at the 14 and into the end zone. Touchdown, Miko Hardman. You, you want to see the arm on Justin Fields. Go back and watch this one when you get a second. Just let that one rip. And it was like it came out of a rocket launcher. Miko just on a takeoff. Justin Fields on the far hash. Good job standing in the pocket. Good patience there. Letting that play develop. And then just threw that one on a rope. Boy, that Elbert County speed right there just made some separation between Hardman and the defender for about four yards. And Justin Fields laid it right on the money for a long 57-yard touchdown pass. It's 41-10. to 10. And the point after try on the way from Rodrigo Blankenship. The snap, the hold, the kick, good. 42 to 10. 2.22 to go. Second quarter, that touchdown sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Well, Justin Fields, he made up for that uh, incomplete pass out in the left flat, didn't he, in a well, big way? I, I would say so. Didn't have patience on that on the play before the touchdown like we just talked about. Got off of his, his downfield reads a little bit too quickly that time. Not the case. And did it with some pressure coming around him. Give the offensive line credit. DeAndre Swift a good block as well. But Fields letting that play develop and then just let it rip. Well, we're uh, we're losing track a little bit. That drive took a minute and one second. So we're slowing down. A four-play, 81-yard drive, 61 seconds, 57-yard touchdown strike. Justin Fields to Miko Hardman. That's your Georgia Medals drive summary from a doghouse to a dog's house. Georgia Medals has got you covered. We've already had one game this year cut short in time where we took the fourth quarter and made it a 10-minute fourth quarter. They may make the entire second half 10 minutes <laughs> at this rate. <laughs> Jeez. Here's blanket ship. He's going to be leg weary. Kickoff high, hanging end over end. Going to land in the end zone and bounce over the back line for a touchback. 
Minutemen. Well, they got plenty of time because we're not taking a whole lot of time. We're scoring in about 60 seconds and then giving the ball back. Today's first half broadcast presented by Ambetter from Peach State Health Plan. Better is taking charge of my health. Well, the dogs are racking up some yards. Our second quarter recap presented by Ag South and Ag Georgia Farm Credit. Loans for land and farm. Check out these numbers, Bulldog Nation. 431 total yards for the dogs. 221 through the air, 210 on the ground. UMass has 146 total yards of offense. It's 42 to 10. Justin Fields, four for five, passing 124 yards and two touchdowns. Correction, prior to the flag, timeout. UMass, their second timeout of the half. So they uh, thirty second timeout. They saved being penalized five yards by using their timeout. Jake Fromm, four for four for the dogs. As we continue with our second quarter summary, 97 yards for Fromm today and a touchdown pass. And uh, on the ground, leading rusher, uh, Justin Fields, 62 yards, four carries, a touchdown. Holyfield has 50 yards on six carries and a touchdown. Tyler Simmons, one carry, 49 yards and a touchdown. Tyler also has a touchdown catch on a 71-yard reception. So uh, everybody's getting in on the act today. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And everything that the dogs are wanting to do offensively, it's working exactly as Coach Taney's drawn it up. First and 10 on the 25 for UMass. Comas dances in the pocket, looks left, looks right, throws it right to Marquise Young, the running back, makes the catch on the right side of the field and will gain about a yard before uh, close to two to the 27 as we hit him at the 27-yard line. Malik Herring and Channing Tindall on the stop. Second and eight. Comis going to throw it to the near side this time. We try to rip the ball out of the hands of Samuel Emulus as he made the catch around the 35. Got five more after the catch at the 40. It's going to be a first down for UMass as DeAndre Baker and company went for the strip. They ended up making the tackle at the 40-yard line. First and 10, UMass going quickly. Minute 38 to go in the quarter. Throw down the middle of the field. Up the near hash mark is caught low to the ground. Emulus, second straight catch in Georgia territory now at the 49. Patrick and Tyndall are linebackers in coverage to make the stop. But they move quickly, 11 yards for a first down. Good ball there by Comas. That was a tight window in between two dog defenders. Comas snaps, stands in the pocket, fires to the right, caught. At the 44, Andy Isabella. This time he was actually beyond the line of scrimmage when he caught the ball and didn't have to try to make something out of it. He got positive yards when he caught it at the 44, a gain of five. Eric Stokes, a redshirt freshman from Covington on this stop for the Bulldogs defense. We're under a minute to go now. Ball's on the Georgia close to the 43-yard line. Far hash moving left. UMass deep ball, far sideline, and broken up far sideline around the 15 by Stokes. Nice play, tight man-to-man coverage for Stokes. The redshirt freshman from Covington. Zach Simon was the intended target down that far sideline. It was a good pass, and Stokes made a nice defensive play. Boy, did he ever. Good job there. He was manned up on the outside in perfect position and got his head turned back to the football what we've seen a couple of times this year where Georgia defensive backs, cornerbacks, have not gotten their head around to locate the football. Stokes, you can't play it any better than that. Dogs had the benefit of using the boundary as an extra defender on that play as well. Third down, five for the Minutemen. 48 seconds to go. Comas going to take the ball on the snap and run it around the right side. To the 40, Devontae Wyatt on the stop, short of the first down. He needed five. He got four. It's going to be fourth down and a yard. Design quarterback run there all the way. Comas pushing with all that he had in him, but dogs just too strong. UMass going to go for it on fourth and one. Snap to Comas. Pocket being squeezed. He throws. It's caught at the 32-yard line by Isabella on a spinning catch. First down on the fourth down attempt. J.R. Reed makes the tackle along with Richard LeCount in the UMass. secondary. The third and final timeout of the half. Be a 30-second timeout. And the Minutemen will stop the clock as you hear referee Matt Austin explain at the uh, 
Ball's on the 27-yard line. They stopped the clock with 12 seconds remaining in a 42-10 contest. Nissan knows game day is all about the game-winning drive, so Rogue has available technologies that will help make the day's best drive getting to the stadium. Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. UMass Paul are trying to move quickly down the field here in the last seconds of the first half. It's been all Georgia for the most part, 42 to 10 in a lopsided first 30 minutes. But the Minutemen moving down the field nicely here late in the second quarter. First and 10 coming up just outside the Georgia 27-yard line. Well, it's just been a clinic by the dogs offensively. You just ran through the stats, but everybody right now executing at a very high level against an overmatched UMass defense. Comas, 15 of 22, 104 yards throwing. He's going to throw here. Angles it far to the right side. It's caught at the 20. Man breaks the tackle. Simon scrambles out of bounds after he made the catch. He broke free, which would have kept the clock running. Tyreek McGee couldn't get him down in bounds. He gets out of bounds at the 15-yard line. And it's a pickup of 12 and another first down, and only five seconds remain for UMass. They're going to try to get points on a field goal right here. Not going to risk trying to throw it into the end zone or at least in that direction. They're going to try to go for three here with Cooper Garcia. Far hash kicking left into the west stands from about the 22 and a half. 32-yard try here for the Minutemen with five seconds to go second quarter. Snap, hold, kick is away. Kick is good. So Garcia with his second field goal. That's another All-State good hands field goal in the contest. And that's going to be the final play of the half. And a good half it was, however, for Georgia. The Dogs lead after 30 minutes of play. 42 to 13 over the UMass Minutemen. Z, thoughts on that first half? Well, offensively, you got exactly what you wanted to out of everything that, that you tried to do. Just uh, Jake Fromm, good solid first half. Four out of four. Justin Fields coming in, showing what he can do, throwing the football as well. Four out of five. Defensively, probably some things that Coach Smart's not going to be overly happy about. Uh, some of that there on that last drive. Dog sitting in the back a little bit softer in, in coverage. Get some comments from Chuck Dowdle and Coach Kirby Smart now before halftime. It's brought to you by Delta, the official airline of the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirby wrapping up his TV talk, and Chuck will send it down to you as you get ready to chat with the coach. Thank, thanks so much, Scott. Uh, coach Smart coming right here. Coach, it looked like there's a lot of points on the board. It just looked like they, the speed was a difference. Uh, yeah, we've been doing, doing, doing a good job offensively. Defensively, we really hadn't stopped them that well. We had not tackled well, not playing the run well. we got to do a better job. Okay, get in there, Coach. Diamonds or anything of that nature. UMass, when they've been able to move it at all, methodically taking it down the, down the football field. Uh, I think that's some coach speak going in the locker room to get more out of your guys, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see if this happens well. Terry Godwin is the deep man for Georgia now. The kick will come down to Godwin on the goal line. Far corner to the 5 to the 10. Angles between the hashes. Tripped at the 20. Keeps his feet across the 30 and stumbles forward to the 34-yard line. And that's where Georgia will have the football. So Godwin returning that kick in place of uh, Mecole Hardman, I believe. Or that may have been. Was that Cook? Yeah, they're switching the jersey. That may have been James Cook wearing number 5. And I believe it was. They're taking the five jersey off him now. It's on there tight. But, yeah, that was James Cook. He's number six, but he was wearing five on that kickoff. So it wasn't Godwin. It was Cook on the return up to the 34-yard line. That makes our jobs really easy. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> on the 34, first and 10. Well, we think Fromm is number 11, and he gives it to number 35. Harry and bounces outside and right quickly across midfield into Minutemen territory and out of bounds at the UMass 42-yard line. Uh, Bryce McAllister, the safety, and Lee Moses chasing him out of bounds into the far sideline, but it's going to be a quick first and 10 at the 42-yard line of UMass, and that's a scan of energy first down. Short, quick motion by Harry and jet sweep to him easily outside of contain and dogs offensively pick up right where they left off and a gain of what 24 yards on that play to the 42 yard line now here's Hardman coming this way on a handoff and Hardman will be stacked up on the near sideline at the 33 yard line Moses and Hayes out of the secondary for UMass making the stop 
uh, on uh, Miko Hardman. It'll be second down and a yard. And we've got an ID break coming up here in a minute, stations. We'll get your station identification in just a moment. Second down and a yard for the dogs just out of the locker room to start the second half, leading it 42-13. to 13. Fromm with a handoff. Harrion straight ahead running right down the hash close to the 25-yard line. It's a first down for Brian Harrion. Let's pause. Ten seconds. Station ID, Bulldog Sports Network. Scanna Energy first down run by Brian Harrion. Balls on the Minutemen 26-yard line. Dogs driving to the west end zone. First and 10 there. From under center. Everybody's in tight. Harrion in the backfield. Hand off Cook around the right edge with blockers. Cook 20. Cook 15. 10. 5. Cook into the house. James Cook with a touchdown. Well, he ran it out of the end zone to start the possession on the kickoff return, and he finished it on the other end. Just as different numbers, though. Started out as number five, finished as number six, and got six out of it. That's how fast he is. <laughs> is when he deep. runs, he changed numbers. He's so fast. Well, the, the dogs, three different versions of jet sweeps on that play. One ended up being a shovel pass. Uh, but dogs getting on the edge, getting outside of contain very quickly, and, and the speed just no match at all coming from UMass. 26-yard run by Cook for the score. Point after try coming from Blankenship. Kick is up and into the net. Good. That touchdown sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. That's the first touchdown of the career of James Cook. Congratulations. It's 49-13. to 13. Georgia leading UMass. Time 66 yards. Took two minutes and five seconds. It was a 26-yard touchdown run by James Cook for the score. Georgia Metals drive summary from a doghouse to a dog's house. Georgia Metals has got you covered. Blankenship kicks it from right to left. A knuckleball low, going to bounce on the 25, taken on the hop around the 20. And one of the upbacks tackled at the 26-yard line. And that's where UMass will have the football. The tackle made by Prather Hudson on the return by Kyle Horn, the tight end for the Minutemen. Got the ball just across the 25-yard line. It looks like uh, Rodrigo might be. I'm not sure if he's doing some different things tonight. He's being talked to on the sidelines right now by uh, Georgia's special teams coach. But he's had uh, he hasn't had his usual booming kicks into the end zone. He's had a couple of short ones and returnable ones, and that one just looked like a miss hit off the tee, perhaps. Yeah, you know, I think some of them probably were designed. Then a certain someone jinxed them to start the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. UMass going to run it with Marquise Young. Yeah, I really jinxed him in a 49-13 to score right now in the third quarter. They run it straight for a couple of yards to the 28-yard line. Young, a two-yard gain. Second and eight for the Minutemen. Snap to Comus. Quick throw on a slant. Isabella sliding to the turf to make the catch at the 32. Gain of... Uh, Four, and it'll be third down now for UMass. The ball is between the hashes. UMass all in white. Well, a lot of grass stains on those white uniforms, but they're moving to our right as we look down here from the Piedmont Healthcare radio booth. And the pass is picked off by Tay Crowder. Crowder spinning away at the 32 from a tackler to the far sideline and down there inside the UMass 30. Crowder with his second interception of the season gives it right back to Georgia. The Bulldogs with the football inside the UMass 30. Well, zone blitz look there from the dogs. I think it confused Promus. Thought he had man-to-man, but we sat back in zone on the backside. Brought pressure from the, the, the field side of the formation. Promus had to get the football out of his hands, but instead of throwing a side adjustment against man-to-man, threw it into the teeth of a zone where Tate Crowder was sitting there waiting for it. Comus with his third interception of the season, and as we said, Crowder with his second pick of the year for the Georgia defense. That is 
The sixth interception by Georgia's defensive unit this year. Ball's right on the 30. This is Justin Fields in at quarterback. Lateral throw to the left side to Akeel Crumpton. They hit him up high, knock his helmet off on the Georgia sideline. Lee Moses with the tackle. And Crumpton down behind the line of scrimmage at the 33-yard line. Going to be a loss of three on the play. A quick bubble screen to the outside, but we never got the initial block. Absolutely nothing we could do there. Robertson was in the game trying to throw that initial block. But Moses is able to power through it. So second and 13 for the Dogs from the UMass 33-yard line. Play fake fields. Throws it, a dart to the left side on an angle down low. Demetrius Roberts. Robertson going to the ground trying to scoop up his first catch of the year. It's incomplete. Lee Moses in coverage. And it'll be third down and 13 for the Dogs from the Minutemen 33-yard line. Trying to capitalize on an interception by Tay Crowder, giving the Dogs excellent field position. Now just a back shoulder fade there. Really wasn't a fade, more of a, a stop route. But Moses very good in coverage there on Robertson. Field shotgun snap, drops back on the hash. Now steps up in the pocket, off he goes to the 30, cuts at the 29, spins at the 25, and drives that big body through defenders down to the 22, maybe the 23-yard line. That was a good solid run by the big quarterback, Justin Fields. Not enough for the first down, but he made up a lot of that lost yardage down to the 23-yard line. Well, did he have a good job? Some pressure came from the outside. He was able to step up into the middle of the pocket and then just how strong he is and how big he is, you can see it there as he's bowling over a couple of minute men. Ten-yard run. Fields is the dog's leading rusher on the night. Five carries, 72 yards after that ten-yard gain. And we'll try a field goal on fourth down from just outside the 30-yard line. A 40-yard try for Blankenship near hash, kicking left to the west. Snap, hold, kick high, end over end, spinning towards the goal post, right between the wickets into the net. Good. 40-yard field goal is up and good by Rodrigo Blankenship. That's another All-State good hands field goal in this one. And that puts Georgia over the 50 mark. It's Georgia. Legal and other restrictions apply. See stores for rebate details. Coach Kirby Smart here. Today's broadcast is live from the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth. Georgia Power brings the energy for every game day into your community, too. Visit georgiapower.com backslash sports to learn more. Well, the dogs with their best point production of the season, 52 points on the board, 52 to 13 is our score. 9.58 to go third quarter. That was a four-play, seven-yard drive after the interception by Tay Crowder. The dogs uh, get a 40-yard field goal from Rodrigo Blankenship. That's the Georgia Medals drive summary. A dog ha- from a doghouse to a dog's house, Georgia Medals has got you covered. Blankenship with a kick from right to left. He drills this one high, end over end kick, going to sail into the end zone about five yards deep. And uh, Young will back away from the ball, bounces up, hits him, and he takes the touchback anyway. And it's UMass ball, first and 10 on their 25. Better buckle up because Sirius XM is zero to everything in 150 channels. You've got, uh, let's see, commercial-free music, entertainment, comedy, news, course coverage of every major sport, including Georgia Bulldogs football. So tune in, Sirius XM. Dogs are on the tw- or, uh, the Minutemen rather on the 25 yard line. 52 to 13 is our score as we check the Comcast Business Scoreboard. Indiana mm, upset in the works, perhaps they lead Michigan in the third quarter, 17 to 15. UMass will run it at left tackle with Marquise Young, and he runs right into the line of scrimmage and is thrown back the other way. Malik Herring making the tackle for Georgia, sophomore lineman from Forsyth, Georgia. They give him a yard or so on forward progress to the 26 and a half. Well, a couple of struggles struggles out of the Big Ten today. Ohio State down to the wire, pulls one out in overtime against Maryland. It's a play fake by Comus. He's going to roll to the right, settle and throw on a line. He finds his target, his favorite target, Andy Isabella, makes the catch. Tackle made by Eric Stokes on the Georgia sideline at the 38-yard line, a gain of 15 and a first down. Now, Andy Isabella came into this game with 87 receptions. They find some creative ways to get him the football, but he's a very solid route runner. 
correction. That was a gain of 11. Still a first down. As Comis throws on a quick slant, Isabella going across the middle, bringing it in, extending the hands around the 45. Got hit a couple of times, but made the grab up to midfield, tackled by LeCount and Reed for the Dogs' defense. That's 12 more yards and another first down. As the Minutemen are moving, first and 10 from the midfield stripe, moving to our right. They'll run it here with Youngs. Patient running, finding a lot of running space between the tackles right down the hash mark, bouncing a little bit to the right. And for another 11 or 12 yards to the Georgia 38, tackle made downfield by linebacker DeAndre Walker. 12-yard run by Young. He was patient on that run, waiting for the blocks to take place, and then he was reading the blocks and finding some daylight. Yeah, just a little counter play there by the Minutemen. They had their big tackle pull come across the line of scrimmage to get the kick out block, and you're right, very patient on that run by Young. UMass moving right down the field on the Dogs 38. Comas with time. Here comes the pocket being squeezed. He is clobbered. He got the pass off to Young, hit at the 30, and knocked back the other way by Patrick. Flagged down in the UMass secondary might be holding, and it is, says Matt Austin. The quarterback, Comas, slow to get up. He got whacked, and then Young got whacked at the end of the play. First down. I'm surprised Comas is okay. I think it was Julian Rochester that had him by the ankles, and he got, and then Malik Heron came in over top and just pinned him backwards. Yeah, Patrick finished off the play on Young at from this angle, I thought they might throw a flag on that for targeting because he hit him up high, but I haven't seen the replay, and no flag came out at the end, just the flag on UMass for holding, and that's marked them back to the 48-yard line. So it's first and 20 from the Georgia 48. Now here's Jordan Fredericks running the football. He immediately runs on a line towards the UMass bench, a little bit of an angle across the 45 or near the 45. Julian Rochester, the nose man, getting that big body down the line and making the stop at the 45. A gain of three. And it'll be second down and long for UMass. Ross Comas, the UMass quarterback, 19 out of 27 on the afternoon. Only 143 yards throwing the football. No touchdowns. He's got the one pick. UMass Knows they can't protect for long, so a lot of quick passing game coming out of this offense. Second 17 here. Quick throw on the left side as, again, the pocket was squeezing close, but he got the pass off, and the catch is made. Isabella with Tyson Campbell in coverage. Makes the uh, makes the catch in front of the uh, UMass sideline at the 35-yard line, and Campbell makes the stop there. The gain is 10. And now it's third down and somewhat manageable after a first and 20 after the hold, but it's third and six from the Georgia 35-yard line for Massachusetts. 52-13, to 13, Georgia leading this ball game here in the third quarter. Dogs defense switching around. Shotgun snap. Oh, pressure and sacked J.R. Reed on a blitz. Clobbered him from the left edge. Boy, Comas never saw him coming either. Good job of disguise by the dogs very patient on that blitz but came off the edge nobody was there in protection loss of seven and a half back to the 43 yard line and any thoughts of scoring just went out the window with that clobbering by J.R. Reed here's uh, the punt by Reynolds Going to angle it away from our return man, and it's going to trickle into the end zone. The rugby-style punt by the Australian. Terry Godwin was back deep, let it hit on the ground, and it gets across the goal line in the end zone for the touchback. Dogs ball when we continue. First and 10 on our 20, leading you. Piedmont Healthcare Radio Booth is where we are located watching Georgia defeat uh, UMass thus far here in the third quarter. 52-13. First and 10 Georgia 
on the 20-yard line. Justin Fields is the quarterback under center. Harrion's in the backfield, the lone setback. End around to Robertson. Demetrius Robertson gets to the corner, swinging and flailing his arms as he tried to get control of his body and head upfield. And he's going to get uh, 10, 11, maybe even 12 yards on that run to the left edge. Well, another speed sweep. Coming from the Georgia Bulldogs, just getting on the edge. Nothing fancy about it, but getting outside of contain and then telling UMass, come catch me. <laughs> That's a scan of energy first down on the 12-yard pickup. First and 10 at our 32 for the Dogs. Cook in motion the other way. Quick handoff by Fields to Cook. Cook gets to the corner, 40, 50, 45, and tackled there up high on the UMass sideline by uh, McAllister, the safety. That's another scan of energy first down. Well, they can't stop the speed sweep. We ran it to the near side, and then we ran it to the far side, and we're down to the 45-yard line of UMass. Boy, it just huge chunks of yardage. Every time we run it, we're getting outside of containment, finding a crease, and again, it's just the speed that's taking over. Two plays in a row here, essentially three out of four on the last drive. 23 yards for Cook on that run. Now, this time, Crumpton in motion across the formation to the right. He's going to settle in the slot right. Play fake fields. Drops back on a 45. Going deep ball down the middle of the field. It all incomplete in the end zone. Demetrius Robinson looking like it hit him in the hands, but Robertson unable to hang on. We'll take a look at the replay and see if that indeed was the case, but the ball looked to be on the money, Z. Boy, did it ever. That ball very well thrown. It looks like Demetrius Robertson started looking up for the football instead of running through it and got off balance a little bit. That oh. ball perfectly thrown, though. Oh, that was six. But Robertson went right through the hands, unfortunately. <laughs> looking at the replay, one of the guys in the end zone was just grimacing after that. Caught on video. Second and ten from their 45. Well, let's see if we can make up for that. Here's Harrion going to bounce outside to the 40, to the 35. Runs through a guy at the 32 and picks up about uh, two more yards to the 30. Jarrell Addo, a redshirt senior outside linebacker, makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. A good hard run by Harrion of 15 yards. That's another scan of energy first down for the Bulldogs. Yeah, dogs getting deep into the roster. When you get to your third and fourth backs and you've got – your second and third linemen scattered throughout the game. Your third, fourth, fifth tight end coming into the into the football game right now, and you're still just chewing up yardage. It's good to see if you're of the Bulldog Nation. Trey Hill, the new center, snapped to field. He got popped and hands it off to Harrion. Harrion going to be hit at the line of scrimmage and piled up. Now helmet goes rolling out of the pile. Fields took a pretty good hit after he handed the ball off. I don't think the defender had any intention of tackling the runner. Oh, that that should have been a flag looking at that replay. Holy smokes. Wow, and no flag came out. He had already handed off the ball, and the defender just plowed right through fields. And Harrion was already running in the opposite direction. Just a dirty-looking hit by the UMass defense. Well, let's make them pay, dogs. Second down from their 30. Second and 10. Fields play fake with time to throw in the pocket. Now he's going to run out. They'll tackle him from behind. Drag him down around the 32-yard line from behind. He started to run to the right. Jake Bisco, the defensive end from Auburn, Massachusetts, makes the stop. And it'll be third down and 12 now for the Dogs on the UMass 32-yard line. Coverage sack there by UMass. One of the few times today they were very solid coverage downfield. Justin got through a couple of uh, guys in his progression, then tucked it in and ran. Probably as he goes back and film, want to get to the third progression, maybe the fourth progression if you can before you flood or, or flush the pocket. Fields in the shotgun, takes the snap pressure from the edges and flushed out. There he goes. Now he's going to run. He's going to run for days. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Lowers the shoulders, drives through the secondary defender inside the five down to the one. McAllister tried to make a tackle up high, and Fields made him pay by a battering ram. He just ran right through him, and they're going to spot him out of bounds at the two. It's goal to go for the dogs. UMass brought the house that time. Good job on the initial surge by the Georgia offensive line. Again, coverage pretty solid, but that time when Justin broke the pocket, nobody was there because of the man-to-man coverage, and you're right. He got there on the edge, didn't even think twice about 
sliding or getting out of bounds. He lowered his shoulder, and he was going through somebody. Boy, he did. My goodness. Goal to go from the two. The th- run was 30 yards for Justin Fields. He's got 100 yards. He's our leading ball carrier time tonight. Georgia, first time out of the half. Dogs, goal to go inside the Massey-Ferguson red zone. Experience the compact utility tractors that will take you through the season strong. Ball's on the two. 61 seconds to go in the quarter. And Georgia uses a time, but we'll stay right here. Just, Just a great military salute here. Indeed, Chuck. Good stuff. Thank you very much. And the uh, Military Appreciation Day continues. Here's a, is a, Each time we have a break on the big video board, uh, members of our armed forces are honored and recognized here at Sanford Stadium. And again, we thank you for your service to all the folks listening in the military. First and ten, first and goal, actually, on the two for Georgia. On the far hash, moving to the left. Fields at quarterback. Herrien in the backfield. Brian gets the handoff. Drives to the goal line. Did he get there? I don't think so. Falls short, just short of the goal line. They had Luke Ford in at a fullback spot, Z, just like you were talking about a second ago. The tight end tried to lead block, and we're about six inches shy of a touchdown there by Herrien. Well, obviously, the struggles that we've had here in the green zone over the past Three or four weeks, well documented. We should be able to punch this one in and and more than anything, just want to start to grow confidence. But here's another penalty. False start. 79 offense. Five-yard penalty. Full second down. Isaiah Wilson moved a little early our line. Isaiah Wilson, Justin Schaefer's at one guard. Jamari Salyer's at one. Trey Hill's our center. And Demarcus Hayes is at the other tackle spot. Uh, the ball backed up just across the five-yard line of UMass. So it'll be second and goal from there. Georgia Power brings the energy for every game day into your community, too. Visit georgiapower.com backslash sports to learn more. Three receivers left for Georgia. Fields, handoff, Harrion cuts inside the tackle and into the end zone. Touchdown between the hash marks, running, dragging a man with him. He was standing up as he scored. Yeah, nothing fancy there, just a little read option. Harrion. His size and his strength just too much there for UMass and a nice little crease. And then once he got past the line of scrimmage, there was nothing that was going to stop him as he had two or three UMass defenders trying to hang on for dear life. Brian Herrien with his third rushing touchdown this season. One second remains here in the third quarter, and the Dogs will try the point after as we approach 60 points. The kick by Blankenship up into the high part of the net there. He got a lot of foot and leg into that one, booted it up through the uprights good. It's 59-13. to Georgia leading UMass. That touchdown by Brian Herrien sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. we still got a second to go here in the third quarter. Fans getting a little antsy to light up Sanford here tonight. And the lights have already started to come on, but we haven't quite gotten to the fourth quarter yet. We've still got one second to go. And the domination that we saw in the first half continues now. Dogs 589 yards of total offense. 227 of those through the air. And again, over 300 yards rushing the football. Still with a quarter to play, but 362 through three quarters this afternoon. Impressive stuff by the Georgia offense. Our third quarter recap presented by Ag South and Ag Georgia Farm Credit. Loans for land and farm. The dogs have uh, had the ball three times in this quarter, and we have scored three times. Two touchdowns and a field goal. Blankenship with a 40-yard field goal. 26-yard run by James Cook for a score and a six-yard run by Brian Harriet. Blankenship's kick will land deep into the back of the end zone for a touchback. Still a second to go. No time off the clock. So the folks with their lights on here at Sanford Stadium as we light it up one more time have to wait a little while longer. Or in this case, they just extend the process, I think. I think what what is it about this that folks enjoy holding up their flashlights on their cell phones? It looks really, really cool. (laughs) It does look pretty. I mean, it's nice, but these folks get, get really excited to wave that phone in the air. 
All right, one more play here in the third quarter. One second remaining in a 59-13 contest. UMass at the 25-yard line, first and 10. They'll hand it off to Fredericks. He'll lateral it back to Comis, the quarterback, and he's going to throw a deep ball to Isabella, who makes the catch downfield, spins away from one man at the 18 to the 15, angling right to the 10, to the 5, cuts inside, touchdown. Boy, you could just see the speed of Isabella right there. He got behind the defenders on the trick play. Comas took a pretty big shot. He's struggling coming down the field right now, but launched it up. Isabella able to catch it and just outran Georgia defenders. 75 yards on the trick play. They handed the ball to Fredericks, the running back. He ran to the right, passed it back on a lateral behind him, back to the quarterback, Ross Comas, and then he just unfurled a long, deep ball. To Andy Isabella, who Z, as you said, had gotten behind the defense, gotten behind three of our defenders. And then once he caught it, it was just a matter of him working his way through that group of defenders and finding a way to get in the end zone, which he did, 75 yards. And now that's the end of the third quarter. It took a while to get that second off the clock. UMass got points with it. It's 59-20 to 20 as we go to the fourth quarter. They're going to light up Sanford Stadium right now. We're going to take a break here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Hi, son. You're on speaker. Just got back from the park. Guess I'm getting used to civilian life. Mom's here, too. Hi. He asked me if I ever had a 100-yard rushing day. That was Hondo. That was, that's pretty cute. He should have asked uh, if you ever had a 100-foot rushing day. <laughs> that's not funny either. <laughs> I don't, know why we're, I don't know why we're continuing this conversation at the moment. <laughs> well, it's because we're in the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth. Ah, there you go. And that's what we do. Here's the kick by Garcia. A little side spinning kick. Going to be taken on a fair catch inside the 10 by Demetrius Robertson. The transfer from Cal, Richard sophomore from Savannah, Georgia. And the fair catch inside the the 25-yard line will result in a touchback, as you know now, at the 25. Matthew Downing is going to come into the ball game at quarterback for the Dogs. Freshman walk-on from Alpharetta, Georgia. So with 15 minutes to play, the quarter may be his. We shall see. Bulldogs football brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. First and 10 at the 25 for the Dogs. Pitch it forward to Cook. He's off and running this way. And he's got a block on the edge. He's up across the 40 to the 45. Blunt trying to hold his block, but UMass able to get him down to the turf and out of bounds. Uh, Bryce McAllister, the safety, with the tackle at the 48-yard line. But it was a 23-yard run by James Cook. Yeah, just another form of the jet sweep. This one goes as a pass. This is a little shovel pass right in front of the quarterback. But dogs just finding different ways to get on the edge and let the speed of all of these offensive weapons take the game over. Dogs quarterbacks have only had three incomplete passes tonight. We're 11 of 14 between Fromm and Fields and now Matthew Downing. First and 10 at our 48. Handoff Prather Hudson from Columbus, Georgia, finding some running room on the left side behind the tackle. And he's up into... Minutemen territory close to the 45-yard line of UMass. A gain of six. Jamari Salyer now is playing center, the freshman from Atlanta. And we'll check the uh, rest of the group here. We've got Owen Condon, a freshman at right tackle. Schaefer and uh, Warren Erickson are the guards. And Demarcus Hayes is at left tackle. So we've got a lot of different combinations going here. Luke Ford is in the ball game. Prather Hudson in the backfield. Downing is the quarterback. Blunt and Crumpton and Robertson are the receivers. Going to play fake it to Hudson. Downing's going to keep it and run to the right, angling towards the Georgia sideline and out of bounds around the 41 and a half. A seven-yard run perhaps. And I think he got the first down. He did just on the inside edge of the first down marker. First and 10 at the 41. They'll move the sticks. Another good read there by Downing on the read option. In the defensive end that collapses there, that's where as the quarterback you want to pull the football and, and take it and go. It's exactly what he did. Then able to outrun some safety support from UMass that came down, but they got caught up in the play action as well. Fourth game this season. We've seen Matthew Downing participate. 
Getting a lot of playing time for a walk-on third-string quarterback. They work from the UMass 41-yard line. Hand it to Hudson Prather. Angling at left side, running behind DeMarcus Hayes at left tackle to the 40, maybe the 39 and a half. Brighton Barr, the middle linebacker with a tackle. And it'll be about a two-yard gain just inside the 40. Second down and eight for the Dogs, taking their time. 12-19 on the clock, clock moving. James Cook now into the ball game in the backfield. Yeah, Dogs now will let this clock, the play clock, get down. Inside five seconds before they snap the football and try to shorten the football game, obviously in great control of it. Downing stands on the edge of the logo in the shotgun. Takes the snap from Jamari Salyer. Going to fake it to Cook. Roll to the right looking to throw. He puts it in the air and it's caught on the Georgia sideline by Trey Blunt. A tumbling catch tackled by Isaiah Rogers at the 27-yard line. A gain of 12 and a first down. Good job by Downing there. Throwing on the run, getting his shoulders square and getting downhill to get that football to Blunt. That's the third catch of the year for Blunt, a sophomore from Atlanta. First and 10, Georgia. If you know someone who makes an impact on their community, Team UGA is presented by Georgia Powers, accepting nominations for members who demonstrate an unselfish giving attitude. Go to georgiadogs.com now to submit your nomination. First and 10, Georgia. At the UMass 27 and a half yard line. Here's Cook on the carry. Cook cutting back across the other way. Changes directions. Veers and weaves inside the 10. Five touchdown between the hash marks running on a full sprint into the end zone. Boy, just too much speed. Way too much green grass. Not a chance for a UMass defender there. My goodness. 65 to 20. Georgia on a Really nice run by James Cook, just swinging out wide to the right and then back the other way and then weaving his way for the final 12 yards into the end zone for the score. It's brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Another point after try by Rodrigo Blankenship. Nick Moore, the snapper. Jake Camarda, the holder. And Blankenship, the kicker. Up and good on the extra point try. 66 20. That's our brand new score. We still got 10 50 to play here in the fourth quarter. Timeout back in a moment. Bulldog Sports Network. Napa know how. You're there every game. Same We're with you in the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth. Neil Williamson, Chris Shivani, our spotters. Tony Shivani, our producer engineer. Jay Black, our statistician and assistant producer. J- uh, Zach Jewell is in our network studios. Chuck Daddle is on the sideline. Everybody's here for the 66 to 20. Whipping that Georgia is laying on UMass right now. We've still got 10.50 to play here in the quarter. And uh, we've got a new kicker kicking off. This will be Buse, Brooks Buse, I believe, kicking it long and deep into the end zone for the touchback. And it'll be uh, first and 10 at the 25 for UMass. Here's our Georgia Medals drive summary. The Dogs went 75 yards in six plays in four minutes and 10 seconds. And James Cook scores for the second time tonight. A 27-yard touchdown run for Cook has given the Dogs 66 points, the most since they shut out Troy 66 to nothing four seasons ago. First and 10, UMass. Comus play fake and a throw. Broken up at the 40 by Otis Reese. Here comes a flag. Trying to go to the tight end, Horn, I think. And then Reese may have gotten there a tad bit too early. Yeah, Horn was on a corner route. Otis Reese got up there and cut into it uh, a little too quickly. Number 17, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Boo, the remaining crowd here booing Matt Austin for making that call. You look at it on replay, he was going for the ball. Looked like a pretty good play. What do you think? I think it was pass interference. I think he got the the body first. That's what you get for listening to Hondo. (laughs) Here's the pass from uh, Comus out to Isabella in the right flat. And that's going to be positive yards, just a handful of them, about four from the 40 to the 44, tackled on the far side of the field by Quay Walker. We're going deep into the depth chart tonight on 
We're going to use everybody, I think, on the roster. Here's Fredericks on the carry, running between the tackles. Stutter step left and cuts back to the right. Tries to find some running room there. And he'll move that ball up to the 48-yard line. And that'll be a four-yard pickup. It'll be third down in a couple. You can uh, schedule your next visit with a new online booking tool at piedmont.org forward slash UGA. Piedmont Healthcare is the official health care provider of the Georgia Bulldogs. Beal and Campbell on the tackle of Fredericks at the end of that run. Third and two for the Minutemen, just shy of the 50. And Comus is going to fake it and then follow the fake man into the hole as a lead blocker and get the first down and cross the midfield stripe and get into Georgia territory. And we may have an injury at the end of the play. One of the UMass players shaken up. That'll stop the clock with 9.19 remaining. The run by Comus is uh, spotted down at the 45 and a half of Georgia. So that was about a seven yard run by the quarterback. This is uh, Avian Paya, listed as a fullback and a tight end. Redshirt sophomore. Georgia Athletics. Call today at 800 Quicken or go to rocketmortgage.com. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Based on Quicken Loans data in comparison to public data records. Racial approval only valid on certain 30 year purchase transactions. Coach Kirby Smart here. Today's broadcast is live from the Piedmont Healthcare Radio Booth. Champions for Charity game is on every time Georgia wins. Camp Twin Lakes, the Salvation Army, and Children's Health Care of Atlanta win because Walton Gas will donate $1,000 to each of these local charities. And for every bowl game the dogs win, Walton Gas will donate $5,000. Everyone's a winner with Walton Gas. Comcast Business scoreboard in overtime. Georgia Tech 30, Virginia 27. Yellow Jackets a winner. They'll visit the dogs next week. Here's Comus going to drop back in the pocket, throw it long, deep, caught inside the five, I think, and a touchdown in the right corner. Andy Isabella racking up more yards and another score on a long touchdown throw by Ross Comus and caught in the front right corner of the end zone going to the west end zone here at Sanford Stadium. He got behind Mark Webb. Webb rode him down into the turf in the end zone, but it was too late. He already got the six. Yeah, fantastic throw. Even a better route there as Isabella, a little short, quick motion inside, ran a post corner as good as you can run a post corner. Really set it up well. Lost Mark Webb a little bit with it. And then that ball thrown right over the outside shoulder before Webb could get there. 45 yards on the touchdown pass from Comus to Isabella, who has 15 catches tonight for 219 yards and two touchdowns. New score in Athens, Georgia 66, UMass 27. Time UMass, four plays, 75 yards, minute 55, 45-yard touchdown strike from Ross Comas to Andy Isabella, who has 219 yards receiving today on 15 catches. Uh, he's been all their offense. Comas today, 23 of 31, passing 278, two touchdowns and a pick. And George has been spreading the ball around between three quarterbacks and about eight different people running the football. Here's the kick by UMass. Robertson. The back pedal into the end zone, make the catch, touchback. Dogs ball, first and 10 at the 25. And fans, if you are dedicated to your team like we know you are, and Rocket Mortgage is dedicated to you because when it comes to buying a home, the right way should be the only way. Rocket Mortgage, proud mortgage partner of Georgia Athletics. Dogs are four points away from 70, 66 to 27. Both teams kind of exchanging punches here. The Hogs have gone deep into their roster. And we've got Matthew Downing at quarterback. He's number three on the depth chart. Jamari Salyer is the center. Schaefer and Erickson are the guards. And Condon and Hayes are the tackles. Snap a little bit low. Picked up by Downing. Quick handoff to Prather Hudson. And here comes a late flag at the end of the play. As Hudson did not get back to the line of scrimmage, line judge tossed a flag from this near side. Play was a loss of a yard at the 24. And Hudson got kind of pretzelized there on that tackle. His body was going one way and his legs were 
point in a different direction, it looked like. Matt Austin is our referee. He's discussing what the flag might be with his line judge. And they're taking their time and doing it. Looks like they're going to mark it off against UMass. Here's the call. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, 99 defense. 15-yard penalty for the previous spot, automatic first down. And that explains why Prather went one direction. Well, he went multiple directions, actually. <laughs> his momentum was going one way, and his body went the other. Well, Honda was talking to my ear that it was a horse collar, but after he's been wrong all game long, I didn't trust him on that one. <laughs> Uh, you could trust him for the rest of the ball game. Yes, now I can. He made up for it. 8.28 to go, fourth quarter. Georgia Power brings the energy for every game day into your community, too. Visit georgiapower.com backslash sports to learn more. Ball's up on the 40 now for the dogs. First and 10 right there. Man in motion is Erdman. Willie Erdman gets it on a speed sweep around the left side. Breaks a tackle at the 44. Puts a hand on the turf. Spins again. And down at the 47-yard line, he broke the tackle of Isaiah Rogers and then was brought down by Barr, the linebacker, at the 47-yard line. Seven-yard gain on the sweep by Willie Erdman around the left edge. Yeah, it's been about 60% of our offensive plays here in the second half, either the speed sweep from under center or the speed shovel pass from the shotgun. It just is chewing up yardage regardless of who's running it. Ian Donald McIntyre is in the backfield as the running back, along with Matthew Downing. Second down and three for the Dogs from our 47. Moving to the right, snap. McDonald or uh, Donald McIntyre. <laughs> I called him McDonald. Donald McIntyre with the run between the tackles. He gets the first down yardage. And into Minutemen territory at the 46-yard line. And the gain was seven. And it's a first down, dogs, as the clock ticks down, 7 minutes, 7.03. Let's pause 10 seconds. Station ID on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Dogs standing at the line of scrimmage, waiting for that clock to melt down a little bit. Play clock down at 8, now downing back into position in the shotgun. They uh, pitch it forward to Erdman on that little jet sweep to the right. And you throw the pass to him, shovel it forward. He stumbled on the logo trying to get to the right corner. He falls down back at the 48-yard line. He gets up. He's kind of laughing at himself, too. You can see him on the, <laughs> the big jumbotron. And he had room to run as well. He did. Sealed off nicely there by the dogs and would have been another big game. Lost a couple on that one. Back to the 48-yard line, second and 12. As the dogs again watch the play clock tick down. We're under six minutes to go in the ball game. George is certainly in no hurry, leading at 66 to 27. Hand off to McIntyre, looking for running room on the right side. Not a whole lot of blocking there, as UMass converged in the backfield for a team meeting at the 50, and they. Drop McDonald, Ian Donald McIntyre. There, I did it again. Uh, at the 50, a two-yard loss on that play. Yeah, we faked the uh, jet sh sweep shovel pass there. <laughs> yeah, what and, is and that? underneath. Is that what that's called? I, I, I'm making it up. I, <laughs> no, I don't even know. <laughs> I need to know. I'll go with you in the green zone. <laughs> the green zone's been better for us today. And it all started with... The change in terminology. It did, and you're that's, that's, you're to credit for that. That's critically important. Third and 14 from the 50 for the Dogs. Downing wants to throw. Screen to the left. Caught by Prather Hudson. Hudson to the 45. Cuts at the 40. Runs through a tackle. Gets the first down down to the 35-yard line. He had three blockers on the left side, but Hudson did all the heavy lifting on that play and got the first down. At the 35 of UMass, Joseph Norwood, the strong safety, had to bring him down. Well, the hardest hit on that play may have come from Warren Erickson as he just popped Hudson forward for the first down. <laughs> He's a a whiplash. He pushed him forward, huh? 15 yards on the screen play. Screen pass to uh, Prather Hudson on the left side. First and 10 at the UMass 35 with 4.18 to go here in the contest. 
And the dogs again milking the clock. Play clock at eight. Downing looks over his left shoulder quickly. He's got a new back in there. And he's going to fake it, and Downing will keep it around the left edge. Trying to give a man a move at the 32-yard line. He got a few extra yards because of that. Down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Yeah, good job staying in bounds as well. Purposeful on that end. Well executed. Georgia has a young man in the game that is on zero of our rosters here in the booth. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is, unfortunately. Second down for the Dogs at the uh, 28 of UMass. 15 seconds on the play clock. Dogs with a slow drive. We'll see if they punch one in one more time, get over 70 points. It's 66 to 27. 316 to go in the ball game. Out of the pistol. They hand it off to the unknown ball carrier. That might be Tidwell. Yeah, that's Lofton Tidwell. That's who that is. At the 30-yard line, and the gain is a handful. So it'll be third down there. Lofton Tidwell, we got it. Why you went to retrieve it. Thanks, Hondo. <laughs> but we're all on the same page now. 2.43 to go in the ball game. And dog fans, whether your favorite seat is right on the 50-yard line, it comes with a bird's-eye view. You know where to head to. StubHub. Grab those 100% verified tickets. StubHub is the official fan-to-fan -fan ticket marketplace of the Georgia Bulldogs. Third down at five for Georgia on the UMass 30. Toss it to uh, McIntyre. Running behind, blocking to the right side. Tackled around the legs by Barr as he ran behind blockers. McIntyre hit the turf pretty hard, but uh, five-yard gain, almost a full five to the 25 and a half. And it's going to be fourth and very short. Fourth and less than a yard for the Dogs. And we'll keep the offense on the field, it would appear. 27 seconds on the play clock. Dogs will let the game clock tick under two minutes now. And the Champions for Charity game is on. Every time Georgia wins, Camp Twin Lakes, Salvation Army, and Children's Health Care of Atlanta win because Walton Gas will donate $1,000 to each of these local charities. Everyone's a winner with Walton Gas. On fourth and short. Handoff will run it at left tackle, get the first down, and a little bit more down to the 20. Ian Donald McIntyre with a five-yard run for a first down. Minute 28, clock still ticking down. Dogs have rushed for 423 yards tonight and over 700 yards in total offense tonight. Yeah, just a great performance, well executed. UMass, no question, overmatched today, but... What we saw offensively out of the dogs, the explosiveness, so many playmakers. I mean, down three and four deep on the depth chart. Uh, just really fun to watch these guys. Dogs will go into the victory formation here with 54 seconds to go, five on the play clock. Downing will take the snap and take a quick knee, and the countdown to zero will continue. It's time for our Nissan Sack Update, brought to you by Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Georgia had three sacks tonight. We had a lot of guys sharing sacks. J.R. Reed had the own solo, the uh, lone solo sack, one sack on the game, uh, in the game for UMass tonight. As we snap it one final time, and that'll be the last snap of the game. The final 25 seconds will tick away. We'll take that 25 to give you our fourth quarter recap, presented by Ag South and Ag Georgia Farm Credit loans for land and farm. Well, in the fourth quarter. Georgia scored, and UMass scored one touchdown apiece. It was kind of back and forth in that second half. James Cook scored the second of his two touchdowns in that fourth quarter. 27-yard uh, run for the score to make it 66-20 uh, to 20 at that time. And then UMass came back on a 45-yard pass to Isabella to cap the scoring. And the clock has hit zero, and our final...